This is uh, Elder Blacklight. Greetings. So far, you know, uh, we've been talking to the uh, black woman all over the planet. And uh, we referenced uh, Sister uh, Houston. Dungy, Drusilla Dungy Houston, the wonderful Ethiopians of the ancient Kushite Kush Empire. This book was uh, printed in uh, 1926. It's a black sister, and we recommend. Uh, that y'all, if you don't already have it, go out and get it and thoroughly read it. Somehow we think that uh, we were so primitive back in those days. You know, you see, you see uh, the pyramids. They are black people. See. Caucasian don't know how we built those pyramids. He don't even know how to read the writing. He's doing the best he can, though. He's guessing at it. And uh, in this book, she goes into how what they call hieroglyphics has changed uh, in reaching in uh, in uh, time pass, you know, uh, Aramaic and Arabic is a form of a hieroglyphic. No matter what you hear uh, Cyrus Sud and Seti and Young Pharaoh, see they're getting their knowledge from the white man. You know, I mean from the real white man. And they're trying to equate Master Farah Muhammad, you know, as being all white. He's not all white. He's, some people would say he, he's biracial. That's a recent term, though. If he was back in the time of slavery, and they found out that he had a, a black daddy they would put him in chains also he could pass for being white which he did and lived among white people but he came to us to give us the real knowledge of us being black and the gods and the cream of the planet earth And if you think that a uh, uh, white racist man would give you that kind of information, you crazy. Even if he was black and looked white and he didn't love you, he would pass for white and wouldn't tell you nothing about your black self. So some of y'all got to use y'all brains, man. But don't let anybody tell you anything. You know, that don't make no sense. Because if you think about it, it, don't, it wouldn't make no sense. We can't even get uh, fair uh, justice in the court system. So, they still trying to keep us out, you know, of their system. And treat us unfairly. So, don't, you know, think about that. But, you know, if you don't get the right information, you don't have no, uh, nothing to go by, 
And if you don't want to listen to Master Farah Muhammad, then you know that's your that's your privilege. But uh, it's just because you don't like the way he look or whatever. But what he says makes sense. You know. Uh, Obama had a black daddy and a, a white mother and he became president. That's why they elected Trump because they couldn't wait to get Obama out the house. You know? So anyway, we want to know do you know or do you want a man or a woman that is a sex fiend or do you want a man or woman that is a knowledge seeker? Do you want more knowledge in your life or do you want more sex in your life? Uh, do you let the flesh overpower your mind? Or do your mind control all your hungers? You know, that's why people fast. That's the real reason why they fast. So we're going to let you think about what I just said. And we're going to talk about do you control this mind? Put it like this. We're going to, the subject matter is going to be is your mind over matter? Black light.